We learned today the University of Michigan is asking students to observe 14 days of staying home and avoiding contact with others before arriving on campus this fall. And another tool in the fight against COVID is coming to Oakland University. Priya Mann introduces us to the bio button and some privacy concerns that come with it. Last week, Oakland University announced plans to have students and staff wear something called a bio button. It tracks your temperature, your heart rate and your respiratory rate. Well, at first it sounded like it would be mandatory, but OU says that's not the case. I guess if it's not mandatory, then it's like, you know, like what is it even really like achieving? Natalie was one of more than 2400 Oakland University students who signed a petition to make bio buttons optional. I think it's great that like more students are being made aware of it. On Monday, Oakland University made it clear the bio button would not be mandatory and applauded their students activism. Well, I'm all for students who question what's going on and ask why the word that got out on Friday had no information behind it. But I'm actually delighted that the students were that activist and that quick to act. So what is a bio button? Oakland University says it's another tool in the fight against COVID. The button sticks to your upper chest and tracks potential signs of COVID before symptoms appear. What the company has done is reverse engineered from COVID positive patients what the very beginnings of COVID infection look like. And so its algorithms are slowly learning better and better how to catch COVID as early as possible before you start coughing, before you feel bad. The bio button is linked to your phone, which sparked privacy concerns. Like if you do choose to wear one, like, like what kind of like data is it collecting from you? And like, is that safe? Like what if there's like a security breach? Oakland University says the data will not be shared with anyone and highly encourages students and staff on campus to think about wearing one. If this device does what it says it can do and can alert people um, before they have a symptom, before they're shedding virus. That strikes us as a really valuable tool in trying to battle the spread of, of coronavirus. I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.